Hi, welcome to part 8 of building a CRM using Django OneView. Today we're going to go through these tasks, which are making it possible to add clients and similar. So the first thing you want to do then is to have a list of clients in the CRM. To do that, I can copy the leads to the view because much of these will be the same. So if I just copy all of this content and then create a new file called clients.view then I can paste it here and then I can just start renaming it a few things like clients and dashboard clients add add client and and I want to loop through each client in clients and bind the client.id to the key and this can just be like this for now so I can do down here first if I replace the clients there as well and clients and get clients get clients and I can just do this for now like that actually now I see here that there was an error here just go back and fix that first if we have not added a weight here so let's just fix that before I continue here I can add it here as well await axios great so now we have this functionality and up here I want to say name which will be the client name here we also want a contact person but I don't want the assigned to and we don't need a status here either so I can just remove this so here I want to say client dot name and client dot contact person so we know who the contact person for that client is and we want to link this to the client detail page client dot id like that so now this template should be ready to move that there so it's a little bit cleaner so now we can import this to the router okay, at the bottom import client from dot dot slash views dashboard client dot view at the s there as well of course so if i now scroll down i can go to the bottom I can copy the leads Paste it, clients, clients, and clients, and save. So the next step now is to just make a link up in the menu so we can go to this page and copy this as well. Clients and clients and save. So if you now go to the browser, we have a new button here clients like that perfect but we don't have anything here yet so we can show a message saying that to the user up here over the table we can say template v if client dot length so then we will render the table close that template v else you don't have any clients yet then close that paragraph and close the template and save go back and now we see this message perfect so now we can set this task to done and then the next step now is to make it possible to add clients so first thing we need then is a new django app and database model so I can go to the console and stop the server and say python manage by start app client whoops rmfr cleanet it's a typo client great before I run the server I want to fix the model and also register it with the settings.py Client.apps.clientconfig Save And then we can go to the database model 
again, I think I just want to make a copy of the leads model because I want a few things from this. So I just copy all of this content, close it. Then we can go to client models.py and paste it here. And here I don't want the status. And I can rename this before I forget it. But I want a team, but we need to rename this to clients. And instead of saying company here, we can say name. And I want this information, but we don't need confidence or estimated or status or priority and not assigned to either. But it's nice to know who created it and when it was created and similar. So then I can save this and then update the database. Python managed to pi make migrations and Python managed to pi migrate. So then we can run the server. And now that we have a separate model for the client, we later here can add notes and similar just for the clients and not for the leads. So then I can set this first to done and we can work with the serializer. And again, I just want to make a copy of the content of the leads serializer. And then create a new file in here, serializers.py, paste it. Here we want to import client and replace lead with this. We don't want it assigned to here, so we can just remove the user serializer client and then rename company to name, remove these four values and save. So that was the serializer done. Then we can create the views. So again, just copy this. Go back to here and paste it in views.py. And here I want to import the client and also the client serializer and call this client viewset. And the serializer class I want to use is of course client serializer and I want to use the client model here. Besides that, this can just be the same and perform update there. There I can remove this like that. Actually, I don't need the perform update here, I think. And this can be the same. Perfect. Now we can save this and create the URLs file. Just want to set this task to done first. And then it's the URLs.py file. So it was a lot of copying now, but it's okay. Create a new file, urls.py. Import a client view set. Rename to clients and rename to clients. And that was it there. So now we just need to import this to the main urls file. In Gunnar CRM Django there. Auth API slash v1 include client.urls. Great, so now we should have access to the clients from the backend, so we can set this to done. And we can set this, no, no, we can now start making it possible to create clients in the front end. So if you now make a copy of all of this content in add lead.view, create a new file, add, client.view and paste it. We can start replacing a little bit of things like add client, replace name with name, contact person we want, email, phone, website, remove these two, remove this one and also that one. The rest of this can just be like this and we want to rename this to add client 
and we can remove these four values rename this to client and remove and replace with clients client the client was added and redirect you back to slash clients great and that was that page so now we need to import this to the router add the client like that so then we can scroll down copy this client slash add here I want to use add client add client like that so now I think we can set this task to done we can go and test and also this but we can test it just to make sure that it's working add client here just a client one contact person the email at gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight google.com and submit and that did not work got the 500 error assigned to is not valid for model client now where is that okay i forgot to remove assigned to from here so save and we can try again now 400 bad request okay i got an error because the website is empty or missing from this list so add that there refresh we can try again now i got the same thing with name because this should be name and that probably goes here as well like that sorry Okay, refresh now there's no errors so we can try again right. submit and now the client was added but it's not showing here in the list yet and that is probably just because we removed this so if you remove this comment here replace this with clients and this with clients save got a new error no match for that okay it's because i haven't created the detail page for uh client yet so up here you just want to remove this for now refresh and now we can see this perfect so then we can go to the to-do list again and now we should have this which is already done actually the only thing missing is the link to the detail page so if i go back here just undo so we have it back here again but if i save now the page here won't work but we are going to fix that now by creating the detail page client.view by the way a few weeks ago i started a new discord server for code with stein so if you want to come there and chat with me or some other subscribers for my channel please come and join us there i will add a link to this in the description below so just make a copy of the contents of lead.view paste it and start replacing get client that also forgot to add the await here so just go back to lead and fix that before i continue save client this dot client client id client and client great so then this can be like that 
confidence and estimated value can be removed, status and priority and assigned to can be removed. I can remove this edit lead link because we don't have the edit page yet. But we can rename this to client.name. And also this client no lead should be replaced. And save. So now this page should be finished and we can import it to the router. Like that, now it's imported. And we can copy this. And just say colon ID. I want to use the client name and the client component or page. So save, refresh. Now the details page or button is showing. You can click it and it will be sent here and we get the information about this client. Perfect. So that means that everything here is also done now. The page for the client and we also get the information from the server. So this whole task can be set to done. And then we just want to make it possible to edit the client. So still going to copy a little bit of the lead, copy the whole file, create a new file, edit lead.view. Sorry, edit client.view. So we can begin up here by renaming this to client.name. Name. And it should be client.name, of course. Client.contact person, client.email, client.phone, client.website. Remove these two, remove remove and also remove and this can just be like that edit client replace this with client and just remove the team because we are not going to use that in this in this page and remove the get team function like that and then to replace the get lead with get client client id client client like that clients and this dot client which refers to this object, which gets information from the server at first. Clients and client ID. So we can then save this because now everything here should be finished. And then we need to import it to the router. Edit client, edit client. And append it to the list here. Slash edit, edit, and save. Great, so now we just need a button up here for going to the edit page. So let's just copy it from here again. Go back, paste it, edit client client.id and save so if we now refresh just go here we have the edit button and if i try to edit here edit head it's also changed up here and update and now it was changed perfect so now we can add view and edit clients as well perfect so I can set this task to done, done, and done, and done. So now that we have the possibility to do all of this with the client, we are going to work more with clients in the next part of this series. Hope you liked this video, and if you did, please click like below, and also remember to subscribe if you haven't done that already. 
See you in the next video.